Hi, now what we've got here is an example on the coordinate geometry of a parabola. We're given this figure that shows a sketch of part of the parabola with equation y squared equals 36x. And the point P with coordinates 412 lies on the parabola. And what we've got to do in part A is find an equation for the normal to the parabola at P. And then we're told this normal meets the x-axis at the point n. And s is the focus of the parabola as shown. And what we've got to do is find the area of the triangle PSN. So if you would like to give this a go, haven't done so already, as usual, just uh, give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your solution with mine. OK, welcome back. Let's see how you'd have got on. Well, first of all, then, if we've got to find the equation of the normal at the parabola through this point P, we'll mark the point P on, by the way. It's got coordinates 412. Well, if we've got to find that uh, normal, we need to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve at this point here. And then we can use the res negative reciprocal gradient to find the gradient of the normal. And then we can substitute our points here and the gradient into the form of a straight line. y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. And that will give us the equation of the normal. So for part A then, we've got to get that gradient. And because this is an implicit function, I'm going to differentiate this implicitly. So we'll lead off with differentiate with respect to x. And if we differentiate this with respect to x, we're going to have 2y dy by dx okay, equals 36. And if we divide both sides now by 2y, that's going to give us dy by dx. So dy by dx equals 36 divided by 2y, which is the same as 18 over y. And so at P, we know that we've got the points x equals 4 and y equals 12. Substitute these in, and we've got the gradient then of the tangent. So dy by dx would equal 18 divided by 12. And we can reduce this down to 3 over 2. OK, so we've got the gradient then of our tangent. We now can go on to, therefore, get the gradient of the normal. So we just put, for short, grad of normal at P. OK. And uh, what's that going to be? Well, that's going to be the negative reciprocal of this. That's minus 2 thirds. And so, therefore, that now allows us to give the equation of the normal. So i just put a little subtitle here. Therefore, equation of normal. OK, we'll say at P, OK, what is it going to be? Well, using y minus y1, OK, it's going to be y minus 12 equals m, which is minus 2 thirds, multiplied by x minus x1, and that's going to be x minus 4 then. So it said find an equation for the normal to the parabola at P, so that's an equation. If you want, you could carry on and simplify it. You could, for instance, multiply through by 3. And if we did that, we'd therefore have 3y minus 36 equals minus 2 times x minus 4, which is going to be minus 2x plus 8. And then we could rearrange this if we wanted to, add 2x to both sides and add 36 to both sides. And you're going to get 2x plus 3y equals 44. So any of these, I'm sure, would do. All right. Now, in part B, we've got to work out then the area of our triangle, our triangle PSN, PSN. So we're going to need the base, the length of the base here, and we're going to need to know what this height is up here. Well, we know that height. That height is clearly 12 units. OK, we'll mark in 12 whilst we're here, OK, as being the height. But uh, yeah, we need to get this length here. Now, S is the focus. And the focus of a parabola is given by the coordinates A0. Now, 
the value of a comes from knowing that the equation of a parabola of this form y squared equals 36x it has the form y squared equals 4ax okay we should be familiar with this particular form so when we look at this we can see that therefore 4a must be equal to 36 and if I divide both sides by 4 a equals 9 so the focus here is at 9 0 what we need to do now is get the coordinates of n and we can get the coordinates of n very easily because we've got the equation of the normal and we, all we've got to do is substitute when y equals 0 at this point. So let's call this equation 1 and we can say, um, let's just say for n, okay, for n, there's a little subtitle there. For n, what we've got is to essentially sub y equals 0 in equation 1. And if we do that, what are we going to get? Um, we're going to have 2x equals 44. So therefore, 2x equals 44. And if we divide both sides by 2, clearly it follows that x equals 22. So we've got our coordinates for n. Therefore, n has coordinates 22, 0. So we know that this point here has coordinates 22, 0. So what does it make that length? Okay, it means that therefore Sn is going to be 22 take away 9, which is 13. So we've got that distance as being 13 units. So we're in a good position now to work out the area of the triangle, Psn. So therefore, let's just put here, area of triangle Psn equals half the base, half the base, base being 13, times the perpendicular height, which is 12. And if you work this out, you get 78. And uh, I like to put square units there just because we're dealing with an area, but it's up to you. All right.